Nobody likes varicose veins. Not only do they look bad, but they can be really painful. Tonight, we take a look at one of the latest treatments to get rid of varicose veins. Until about a month ago, this is what Greg Wyman's legs looked like. Many of us think of varicose veins as simply a cosmetic problem. But varicose veins can really hurt, make it painful to walk, and even lead to ulcers and large wounds. Well, for years I suffered with uh, varicose veins and the swelling associated with it, the leg fatigue, the itching, and occasionally even the uh, bleeding that uh, would occur with it. Medically speaking, varicose veins are veins that have dilated and swelled because the valves in the veins aren't working correctly. It's more of a mechanical problem than a medical problem. We know the vein's not doing what it's supposed to. It's supposed to carry blood from your toes back to your heart. There's a valve right here. You'll notice the blood always flows uphill. Instead, says Southwest Washington Medical Center's Dr. Paul Daly, the blood goes in the other direction, downhill. But now, a relatively new treatment called the Venus, therapy for varicose veins, offers a less invasive, relatively painless, and relatively quick treatment. This is a little catheter that we place inside the vein. Doctors actually slip a radio frequency catheter into the varicose vein. The vein heats up. So it actually burns inside of the vein. So it's basically doing a spot welding on the vein. You can actually watch the ultrasound. The vein just collapses right down along it and seals it off. Greg Wyman just had the venous procedure done on both legs. He says the difference between then and now is dramatic. I feel like your zip is back in your step. Um, I feel like I can stand on my legs a lot longer. And Wyman says he's looking forward to wearing shorts this summer. Well, if you'd like more from... Here's a look now at some of tonight's top local stories. Google is